Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an Apple Watch Series 6 that won't update. I'll be telling you specifically how to make it update, some easy fixes in this easy Apple Watch tutorial. Let's get right into the video. The first thing that you can do is look at your phone and wonder or ask yourself, is your phone up to date? Now this knowledge is all to the best of my knowledge, so this information is all to the best of my knowledge. I'm not a professional, but this is what I know basically. Um, your watch OS will only update if your iPhone OS, your iOS is up to date. So the first thing to do is take a look at your iPhone, make sure that it is completely up to date, okay? The second thing that you can do is make sure that your watch supports the update. Now, at the time of me making this video, the Apple Watch Series 6 is the newest Apple Watch. It is a new Apple Watch, so it should support the update. However, if you're watching this and you have an Apple Watch an older series, then make sure that your Apple Watch series supports the actual update that's being released because it might be a little bit older and maybe it doesn't support the update if you're using the first or the second series Apple Watch, let's say, okay? The third thing that you can do is make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi. You wanna make sure that both your phone and your Apple Watch are connected to Wi-Fi. Now, the OS update, the watch OS update is downloaded through Wi-Fi usually because it's done much faster and then it doesn't waste your data. Um, at least for the most part, depending on your settings, it should be done through Wi-Fi. So make sure that your phone and your and your watch are both connected to Wi-Fi, that'll make it a little bit easier for it to ensure that it's gonna happen, okay? Number four is make sure that your watch is connected to your phone. You see, it works like this. Your phone gets the update and sends it to the watch. So make sure that your Apple Watch Series 6 is connected to your phone because if it's not connected to your phone, then it's gonna be hard to get the update. It's gonna be, it's not gonna make any sense. It has to get the update through your phone, so make sure that it's connected. And you can do that by uh, opening the notification Notification. So if you actually take your Apple Watch and you swipe up, you're gonna see your control center, I should say not notifications, but your control center. And on the top left corner, if you see a green phone icon, that means it's connected to your phone, okay? It can also be connected to your phone through Wi-Fi if you see a Wi-Fi symbol and the Wi-Fi network name. But that's a whole different story. But just make sure that it's connected in some way, shape, or form. Last but not least is number five, which is to turn off and then turn back on your Apple Watch. To turn off your Apple Watch, it's pretty simple. Um, what you wanna do is from the home screen, you just wanna press and hold down on the side button right here. Not the crown, but the side button. You press and hold down on that side button. It's gonna bring up this screen and where it says power off, you're just gonna swipe across. Okay, I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna power it off. But once again, just press and hold down the side button until that screen pops up and then just swipe the power off option, okay? So where it says power off, just swipe it to the side. That's it. Um, and that's basically it. Hopefully one of these fixes will help your uh, Apple Watch Series 6 update. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.